Hi, Editing Dora here. Before I start the actual video, I do want to briefly apologize for the in and out of focus the intro has. I am currently filming on a webcam I bought from Princess Auto to use for shooting other angles in build videos, and because everything else is mounted elsewhere, I use this as a last resort, and well, um, it kind of sucks. So if some footage in the intro kind of slowly gets out of focus and refocuses, it's because this camera's autofocus is very sensitive sensitive and since I'm shooting using OBS Studio, I don't really know how to fix that, so we'll just enjoy it for this video and none of the next ones. Yeah, that's that's all I got. Hello and welcome to Strelkomania. In this brain dump, we are reviewing the results of an unintentional experiment. AKA I left resin 3D printed parts in a vat of isopropyl alcohol for over a year. AKA I forgot these were in here and now i'm curious what happened to them the black pieces in this container are from april last year when i 3d printed a bunch of mini sneaker earrings for an event and then the ones in this vat which is the wash portion of the wash and cure station i have for my anacubic photon mono printer the parts in here were backup flexural samples for a lab that was supposed to happen like october last year but they did not print in time so never got used and and were left and forgotten in this vat. As you can tell from me forgetting parts and rubbing alcohol, I don't use my resin systems that often, so about time I clean these out. In terms of the resins that were used to print the parts we're going to be looking at, I think the white parts are made from this white ABS like Sunlu resin, and then the black parts are printed from this, which I purchased both from Amazon, but the black is just material by Anycubic. And it's their basic resin. I fear both of these are gonna smell quite a bit and since my ventilation isn't very good down here we're going to put some gloves on, go outside, and see what happened to these parts overall this time. Do you guys see all that filmy stuff? I didn't even really notice this earlier. It almost looks like a soaked Kleenex. It's kind of yellowy in here, too. It almost makes me think of kombucha. <laughs> All this film, like, dislodged from me moving the bucket around. And during if what filmed up was all the, like, liquid uncured resin that was on the parts when I took them out of the machine and put them in here to get washed. Because it's kind of similar in here. This is the one with all the black parts and we can see that there's that film that started developing and so my best guess is that it's all the uncured resin reacting with the rubbing alcohol a cute moth joined the party hello please fly away it stinks he's in the grass somewhere now put my gloves on I'm outside because this stinks very badly. I don't really know how well you guys will be able to pick up on it. Like, it's definitely a film. So this is a piece that I broke earlier, but it's part of the shoe and it's super easy for me to just break into pieces. Like, here's the shoe. Just gonna try and break it. Oh, this one's solid. So this shoe right here was hollow and that's why it was significantly easier to break apart. This shoe, wow, with two hands, just snapped it. Here's another one. Little shoe, just snap it right in half. Like, no problem. Sorry for the black on black, but these parts are significantly weaker. Here's the shoe I just broke. This piece right here was super easy to break because the print was kind of hollow. And then this shoe snapped so easily in half for these ones the film is way ew lifting the grate can you see all of the film in the bottom down here it is thick it feels almost like like slime gross and these resin parts definitely look they look extremely yellow this resin was white wow i'm barely applying any pressure It 
it's interesting how for these samples the snap is extremely clean i would have expected uncured resin to have shattered with a lot more fragments very clean breaks and it took quite a bit more force to snap the smaller pieces i wonder if it having absorbed some of the isopropyl has made it more flexible. Here's some thinner pieces that I had. Do you see the flex on that? If this was resin that hadn't soaked so long in isopropyl, it would have shattered. Again, these are breaking very clean with not many fragments. Really, this is resin. Again, I really think this is the uncured resin, like, sitting in the alcohol and, like, coagulating over time. I let it sit for a bit and this looks nasty. Whoa! Do you see that? It's kind of hard to picture because the part is white. Can you see? It's kind of starting to delaminate between layers. There's these lines right here. See it on this one too. So not only have these parts really absorbed the alcohol, and that has kind of made it more flexible than the raw part itself, but also when you break it, it doesn't shatter as much, and then there's almost what looks like delamination happening between some of the layers.